Does anyone remember when Naval was first released in Alpha? I don't know what they called it, but if you bought a pack, you were able to play it. They made millions off that. They they made millions off Naval when it was first released. And, and let me tell you what that game mode was. It was PT boats with anti-air cannons on them running around a water map with some things in the way. If you told me I could make a, a silly mod with water, islands, and little PT uh, floaty whirlpool do things, count me in. And that that's kind of how it went down. It was fun for about 13 games, and then you were like, Ugh, all right, well, I'm just going straight and shooting the living crap out of this gun until either I die or the enemy. The community kind of really pushed back. Like, really? To the point where I don't know if this is actually in writing or um, that was recorded, but I feel like at one point War Thunder said, we're not going to have bigger bigger ships. We're not going to do it. We've already tested it. It doesn't work well. And then the community was like, ah! <laughs> Oh, my gosh. And then so it started. It started with the destroyers. That was really neat. We had some bigger caliber guns and uh, ammo racking was kind of a thing and you could kind of plan your attacks. Then we got light cruisers and then we got heavy cruisers. And then now I think we're back in a funk with naval. And so what I think that's happened is that we've traded our, you know, first iteration, our close range spammy um, gameplay that, you know, it was just a sensory overload. Everyone was shooting at everybody and there was really no skill involved to now with the Admiral Hipper. Now I have not played Naval in probably six months. So take my opinion right now with a grain of salt. I don't fully know how these new heavy cruisers work, but I know how the light cruisers work. And then, so in, in the beginning, we, we had the close range spam. Now, because we have bigger ships, we have long range spam. And this is just how I feel when I play naval. I don't feel like it's just a sensory overload. Like it's just constant shells hitting you. And you, you don't know what to do and you can't repair everything. And there's no like, okay, he's reloading, I can do this. At, with these things, it's boom, 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 boom. You know, what they're supposed to do. But there's not that, you know, incoming shells. It's just like shells are incoming. Like they are not stopping. And so what I think in a lot of the community thing is that battleships and battle cruisers and today pocket battleships, D-class cruiser, it's, it's called a heavy cruiser, but this might have been one of the heaviest of heaviest cruisers that, um, well, I would say armament-wise, there were heavier cruisers. This one could only displace 10 tons. Gunners are searching for airborne and surface targets. Now, if anyone was a fan of Navy Field back in the day, you will know this as the poor men's, the poor man's battleship this is one of the first vehicles the first ships you get that had those 11 inch guns or 280 millimeter or no yeah that's right wow i surprised myself or as they're mainly referred to 28 centimeter guns now these are the same caliber that we had okay hang on Let, let's get up to speed here And I think we have a little mission. We're, I don't know. Okay, we're in Norway though. I think we're. I think this is just going to be a test demo to show you, you know, the guns and everything. But yeah, but these are the same caliber that's on the uh, Rat, the P1000. But they have an extra. Do we have internals? Oh my gosh, Beckett, stop, Beckett. This is a little bit too much detail. I got to say. Um, uh, yeah, many thanks to Beckett and Gentle Spy for putting this together for you guys today. Maybe we can turn the sound up. Okay, War Thunder, if you're watching, let's have three different sections of sounds. Planes, tanks, ships. Oh, and, uh, by the way, 
if my voice sounds different, yeah, I got sick over Thanksgiving. Nice, that's much better. Okay, so test fire. Now, if you're also a Navy Field X connoisseur, or if you still play it, let me know in comments below. Oh, jeez, that scared me. Does does block shotting ring a bell? Okay, and then we have, I think, just secondaries. Yeah, look, looks like destroyer guns, and then maybe some anti-airs. No, anti-air. I have, I have a feeling that Gentle has put some, uh, we're going 60 kilometers an hour. Let's slow down here. We got to go with our fleet here. I feel like Gentle has maybe slipped in some aircraft. Okay. Enemy. Literally. Okay. No, he's not. I thought he was spot beyond the horizon. Okay. I don't. Oh, I see him. Oh, I see him. I see him. Okay. He's moving with us. We're going to fire at his back of his ship. Because uh, we're moving a little bit faster. Splash in one second. I doubt that. This is a pretty far shot. I don't see my rounds yet. I'm looking for six grouped together. There, th there they come. Oh, main hit on the bridge. Good God. I thought that would be catastrophic against a destroyer. That was a great shot, though. They're nice and high. Let's go down a little bit more. But the main reason why I think I would enjoy the pocket battle... They're a little bit in front, too. The pocket battleship or just the battle cruiser battleship gameplay is because it's slower in the, in, in the fire rate department. I just feel like when I play naval and I hit a target, a lot of the times I'm like, okay, so I'll hit him again another, like, you know, 20 times. Now, I haven't played the new cruisers yet. That's a money shot, though. Incoming. There they go. Oh, okay. That was a really big hit. He's at 16%. Hey, guys. I don't know if we, if we want to get out of here. We got a whole task force coming. I'm going to increase speed. I'm going to see if they follow me. All guns are opening up. All guns are working well, too. At least the secondaries. Okay, that's just pretty right now. Look at that. <laughs> that's gorgeous. That's gorgeous. I don't know if anyone else feels that same sentiment of uh, playing naval now. You just really can't follow it. It doesn't make sense. You know, a Brooklyn class can have... Nine salvos in the air while you're just like sitting there and then they you know, boom 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 boom. You know what I, I always imagined naval as like battle station specific. Like why can't they do something like that? I mean they're 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 Russian. They can I mean Oh no! B-29 lands? Look! We, uh, 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 this is our new aircraft! TU-4! All new Russian Barth! Like, wouldn't that be so cool to, you know, capture islands? And then you have more spawns there? Like, okay, I think what's holding War Thunder back a lot of the times, I feel like, is their, like, historical map design. That was a sweet hit, by the way. Like, they, they give us these real locations, but real locations, first of all, are bottlenecks. They give other other teams higher grounds, and... Hey! You will die now, Mr. Destroyer. Right there. Sorry, I'm having to wait broadside for my team who wants to move at two kilometers an hour. But I, but I feel like some genuine map design for like an island capping mode would be really neat. And then so the big ships could be playing on the outside and the small little PT boats could be playing near the, the, um, the island. Destroyers as well. 
That's how I always imagined naval. But what we got when it first came out. Okay, we got a we we got an angle. Was uh, race cars on water with auto cannons, S race boats. Okay, we're going full ahead here. My ships are dying. They ain't gonna make it, boss. Now the D-Land has, I think early war, it had like 60 to 80, but late war it had like 100 to 120 in some locations. Ooh, that sounded not good. I'm just gonna get to the trigger. I think I've killed one ship so far. Not too bad. This is gonna be a one shot. No, it's not. Yes, it. Oh! Ooh! So close to that ammunition. I think, that, I think his ammo is already gone, though. I'm leaving my team. Uh oh, oh, oh. Back, back ammo? Nope. What do you want me to sail for? Oh, yep. Gentle Spy has designed the mission. Incoming something. Must retreat back with teammates to maximize forward firepower. Or maybe, I think it'd be better if I just reverse here. Oh my god, I'm about to list over. Okay, we'll use our front guns as braking. Anti-air is strictly on. Yes. I'm just going to sit back and watch what happens here. Yeah, no. I don't know if I... I don't, I don't think I have a repair button. Oh, wait. No, no. That's Jay. Okay, never mind. That's okay. I just want to see our anti-air guns go to work. Hopefully, they're all ready. Okay, yep. Oh my gosh, okay, that's... Well, hopefully they can hit one. Oh man, did you guys see that explosion? So, the AA gunners are still really dumb in War Thunder. We're gonna grab him here. Uh, who has bombs? Oh, sweet! We have. We just had some mosquitoes inbound. Okay, they're gonna come back around. Okay, let's see if we can't get one or two. I uh, can't tell. Okay, we got a center one here. There goes one. Only one of my guns are working now. <laughs> no. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below about having bigger ships. Do you think that will solve the issues or just keep increasing them with naval? I mean, for me personally, I would like bigger ships because it would lessen, you know, that kind of feeling when you're in naval now. It's like, where are these shells coming from? Because, you know, some of the some of the uh, cruisers and stuff, I'm not saying they're overpowered or anything, but they can do they can do stuff like this. All right, enemy destroyer, four kilometers out. This is perfect scenario. The 
<laughs> I haven't even tried the Atlanta. He's dead right here. This one will do it. So, I don't know. There, there, there's, there's two ways to go. One, get whittled down like that. Or two, eat a big shell from a big ship at long distance and uh, call it a day. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Comments below. Guys, have a wonderful Sunday. See you tomorrow. And uh, it's my birthday month. This this whole month's my birthday party. I got I got to tell you, this has always affect. This has always affected me in my younger life. No one ever celebrated my birthday in school. You know those kids who, when it was their birthday in school, they would get like some special treatment, right? Like, oh, it's your birthday. Yay. They would maybe get a gold star or something in third grade, Mrs. Ha Hazel Riggs class or something. They would get like a little birthday cake. The whole classroom would celebrate it with some birth cupcakes or whatnot. Mine, my birthday was always on Christmas break. So technically, in in the school system, I've 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 never aged a day. And no one no one no one ever said happy birthday to me in school. <laughs>